microwave. It's got a transformer, which is good. RCA. So it gives me three microwaves in my yard that I have a process. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a scrap run today. Get rid of some of this light iron sitting around here. Just to get rid of it. Don't have a lot to strip, but a few things like maybe a washing machine, the stove, a couple dishwashers, some microwaves. We'll strip those out just to get rid of, rid of everything. Got my staging area here, so I don't want to need the space. It's not bad for wire. Yeah, it's up, you know what I'm saying? No point leaving here. So you get all the wire, it comes right out. Pliers. I need a pipe wrench also for the hot water tank. Oh, it's in there pretty good. Okay. A little mortar here. That part is a good board, the other parts are good. I'm gonna see if this is stainless here. Yeah, it's stainless. I'll take that off a little bit of wire. Okay, hold on. It's got a little more face paint glued to it. We'll pop it off. It's 
Not a lot, but hey, any metal's metal, right? Oh, oh it's tough stuff. Thin, but it's glued right, so it makes it so much harder, harder to get off. Usually, it doesn't fight that hard. Hmm. Holy smokes, that is tough. Want to go? Too much fiddling. Old sheet. Give the rest there. Take, take off this one here. All this brass adds up. It's easy, it's right there. That's where you can get better money right away. It's all took the whole thing off, but I had to put in the vise. I need that pliers because I can pull the wire out. No point in leaving wire behind. Especially when the prices are high. Well, I think this is stainless here too. The door face. Well, no, I think I checked the last time, it's not. I always check. Because, you know, it's all extra. Whatever you can get. On top of scrap is extra, right? Let's that one more. We scrap everything. That one's done there. Except I left the mortar on there. A little mortar. You pry these electrical mortars, pry where the on this side here where the uh, hookup point is. Should come right off. in there look around that's up really fast it 
Do stuff to have basic tools. Tools for job. I mean, you can take the rest of the door off here and get the rest of the wire, but I kind of leave it there because I'm, I'm leaving them plastic, so I might as well have a little better metal for them, right? If it was all stainless steel, I would take it all. This is mostly plastic. Just leave it. I'm going to grab... Uh, We're gonna have a push board here. Rest of torques. Drill. The pole. Should come out more just sitting there. Not sure if that's stainless in this copper mortar. Could be stainless. brass here Came out. okay I have to get some uh, torques stand by Yeah, it's copper. Perfect. Which is broken. Okay. Put my bar, rip that mortar off. It's all rusting here. I haven't used it much. 
when you use it all the time your hands shine it up yeah, just like that it's so simple wow it's a very heavy mortar actually so that's what we got off there that one's done Okay, hold on. Okay. I tried my uh, my hand saw. I mean, my, my hand drill can do it though. No way. No more power. Okay, hold so on. I tried the other drill. Couldn't do it. No way. No guts. This one. Well, it's this. It, it is an impact, but. The guy called me, he's gonna call me back because he couldn't find something, I don't know. Because I don't know why he doesn't want to go in. It's a pain to get, a, get the thing in there, it doesn't even make sense. Put, put oil on it too. It's like it wants to go to one side only. Awesome. The motor off. Nuts and bolts. Okay, we're gonna put that away, and we're gonna uh, do that thing next. Hold on. Okay, now we're gonna go. Let's take this mortar off, or not the mortar, but this connection off. This one we're gonna have stainless steel for this one. I'm gonna clean it with stainless steel. This one I took a few things off already. Now I have time to do the rest. So that was a job. That guy called me back. Got a couple of house inspections coming up. One for sure ready. That's good, hopefully. It's busier. Been slow for two months. That was clean brass. I'm gonna take this off. good I might not even buy it because it's all plastic they just stay throwing a shred usually what they'll say Like holding it here. Makes it hard, there's no 
enough in a pride to like hold it in place. Sushi pops right off. This is pure garbage. Okay, so that's done there. Now we're gonna move. Let's pop this microwave that we got this morning apart. Cord automatically. Look like copper. Still thirty cents a pound. That's up. Best thing is to get a file. I suppose you can go right right to the center of the windings. It's not that great. Okay, it's aluminum. Okay, let's stockpile it. I need the fan motor on. It's not even uh, copper, not even worth it. This is probably a really new microwave, I think. I'm gonna leave the circuit board in there, I'm not even gonna bother. Take this off. Okay, I'm down. Okay, I'm gonna now get the microwave and a few things. We'll see what's in the van here and start loading and I'll strip a few more things down. Well, I see I got picture frames here. So this can go. It's very heavy this thing.
Let's see what's in it. If I get lucky, get a copper, right? They're not that rare, they're out there. Check the next one out. It's all aluminum. Oh well, okay. I got a I found this in a pickup the other day. It's a heating blanket or something. This here. I always strip them. They're good. Copper wire. Number one. So we're gonna grab this thing. different here. Dirty 30 cents a pound, so a little more metal there. Value. See, got this, should be stainless steel. I don't know why they have the one piece. Like why they do that? Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to take my axe. I thought I'd have my axe here. I got this for the pickup too yesterday or last time. Picture frames we got yesterday or last time we went out. Tiny flat. It's so tiny. Can't even see it. Very tiny. Hard to get the screwdriver in the slot. Oh, it's these little clips here. These ones, I don't think I can get it. A super tiny flat screwdriver. I could have a flat here somewhere. Everything's like a, not the right one. It's in there pretty good. Okay, I gotta find something. Hold on. I got the big stuff in so far.
should be enough to fill fill it up good enough So maybe some longer stuff in. Okay, we'll throw long stuff in for now. Okay. I'll go around and look for some metal here. Just plain metal like a scrap. A scrap. but I doubt it. See this thing here? The only thing is aluminum is just just this one little one little strip there. It's really nothing. I don't know if they even buy these or not. Well they used to and then but then they stopped. Mm 
who's watching here. Aluminum, see? Just enough. Strip it. I think that's it's all dirty aluminum here. It's heavy. Got up. See, the more stuff I can give in the yard, the cleaner the yard will be. This clock radio is not going to have nothing. Got a tiny piece of aluminum here, but just leave it. Make sure there's no battery in there. Since I have a backup battery. It's starting to fill up. So I found another bucket of Christmas, Christmas lights. You think you have them all, but no, you don't. So let's cast. In the bucket over here. Right there's a bucket. Thought I had them all. Nope. This is uh, some of this stuff has wire inside, wire reinforced. Well, it's just more like plastic garbage. This can go. Okay, let me just uh, keep moving. Okay, I got uh, this one's actually copper. So actually, can chuck it. I'd like to take this off here. Some of this brass. I was just gonna chuck chuck that one over there. So it's copper. So if you all full. Couldn't do that microwave, but I did the other two we had on video. No 
is a brass too. Okay, so hold on. Okay, that's all the stuff here. I'm gonna take it apart. This has got a battery here, so I gotta take it apart. All this here. Copper mortar, a bunch of a wire, so on. Um, got the wheel off here. Let's use the vice grips, the crescent wrench, because it was really tight. It was turning actually. So. That like that. I'm gonna fall out, but we'll see what happens. Okay, that's my load. I'm saying we could creep close to a thousand pounds, I think. It's a pretty good load. I found this too the other day. It's got a stainless steel center. So I want that stainless steel thing. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll let you know what the weights are and so on. Stay tuned. Okay, took that load back. The weight was okay. It was uh 1160 pounds not too bad 1160 it was 160 a ton uh so ken got the same same as me last time usually we're i'm ten dollars more but i don't know they always screw my my uh pricing but that's okay 90 dollars and 73 cents a two dollars and seven cents service charge 160 a ton i was watching the guy in the states uh, he was said there's like a they're getting a $12 service charge per ton. Somewhere in uh, Baltimore, I believe. One of the guys there, a new scrapper on YouTube, I forget his name, but uh, he said $12 service charge. That's ridiculous per ton. So that, you know, that means you don't go there. If they, That's ridiculous what they're trying to charge you, right? You know, we're doing them a favor, picking up scrap, making them money, right? Versus them service charging you like just like we're gonna buy bags here you go to mcdonald's you want a bag they give you it cost you 25 cents and the bag is so bad you cannot reuse it as soon as you grab it it starts tearing it's like wafer thin that's not recycling that's garbage that bag is a one use only but they're making us pay for the the surcharge right anyways i got rid of this i got rid of all three pails from the yard just miscellaneous junk in there that i had sitting like nuts and bolts and you know how it is start putting stuff in container but okay guys have a great day thanks for watching